Morning everyone, farmers. Rob and Ruth here from Cannon Hall Farm. Now, we have had an absolute blast with winter on the farm. It's been fabulous to have Hercules back on our farm, living his best life, and we've had the pleasure of his company for a week. However, it's time for him to go back to further his training to continue his development as he progresses towards becoming a stallion to serve mares in 2024 and beyond. Hopefully, everything crossed that he passes his examination at the end of January. He's off for further training, Ruth is loading him up, um, and it will be a sad moment, but also a happy one. Thirteen, one, two, four, 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 yeah, right, Ruth is making sure we're safe and legal with the correct number plate on. We're all ready to go. Uh, hopefully, Ruth, the next time that we see him, it will be uh, after his inspection and we will be happy people. We will be happy people. I've got everything crossed. Um, I hope he does. Um, I'm quite positive, but we'll have to see. Good. We heard nothing but positive things from Chris, the Shire horse expert, who came down to visit him for winter on the farm. Our hopes are high, but we know with these animals uh, that they're a rare breed for a reason. Uh, yeah, yes. Problems can, can come along without you anticipating, yeah. but hopefully our progress for Hercules will be smooth. He will go to his examination and everything crossed. He passes and he has a bright future look, to look forward to. We can only hope and, uh, and hope and pray. Right, I'm here at Bill and Harry's, and uh, and Hercules has travelled really, really nicely. He's been as uh, as quiet as a mouse. I didn't know I'd got him on board. Uh, Bill's getting him uh, ready to come off now. He's going to back him off, and it's again, it's good practice. It's part of his education. Um, ju just the the concept of moving up and down the A64, loading, unloading. It's all making him more settled. It's making him steadier. It's uh, it's making him uh, a better, more handleable horse. Good. Well done. Yeah. Well, it came off there nicely, Bill. Yeah, goes to that now. Yeah. Is that this baby cage is? And are you happy with his progress so far? Is he uh, coming on like you'd expect? Definitely, yeah. But he's, he's, these horses are all different. They're all on different temperaments. It's not when we first handled him. They were all over us. They were climbing off top of us. But now, we can get around him a lot better. Bit of use and a bit of one-to-one -one makes a lot of difference. Yeah. Good boy. Good lad. I'll take him into his stall. Grant. Right, Hercules is safely ensconced in his stable. He's tucking in uh, to a spot of lunch. He's as happy as a pig in muck here, and, uh, and he's getting the very best of care. We're really indebted to Bill and to Harry for, uh, for tutoring him, to training him on, and for getting him ready for his, uh, for his stallion assessment. We're keeping everything crossed that he passes. And if he passes that, then the next stop will be the Spring Show, the National Shire Horse Show, uh, where he will be up against the, the best in the business. And uh, we, keep, uh, we keep everything crossed that, that his journey progresses, that he becomes a breeding stallion, and he becomes the horse of our lifetime. That's what we would really love. And uh, we're going to do all we can to give him the best possible chance of that happening. So from Farmer Rob, um, at Bill Bedford's uh, stud in York. Um, cheerio for now. We'll keep you posted of Hercules' progress and uh, and hopefully one day he will uh, be carrying that red rosette again and shiring falls for the future. So cheerio and goodbye. <laughs>